Well, hello there, Mr. Crane. How nice to see you again. You're looking quite well after that little incident during the Yeti broadcast. I would say that the events of that episode were as shocking for me as they were you, but <laughs> that would be a lie. Well, well, if it isn't my least favorite suddenly sober Scotsman. No, oh, spare me your yank sass, Mr. Marchand. Oh, you're the posh British man today. What's wrong? You cannot give her any more power, Cap'n? Keep this up and I will shove you overboard like I did my third ex-wife, Susan. <laughs> Don't get smart with me, you prat. <laughs> Star-Lord playing Jimmy in a movie. Uh, but anyway, George 3, I seem to remember overhearing you say in the break room once that your first ex-wife was named Susan. Well, as a matter of fact, all of my ex-wives were named Susan. Well, everyone has a type, right? Anyway, did you enjoy your first failed marriage anniversary hangover last week? No, oh, your American arrogance is just as insufferable today as it was last week, Mr. Marchand. It takes one to know one not so braveheart. Anyway, what brings you here? I didn't have a broadcast schedule for today, but I got an email over Christmas saying I had to interview the most VIP of VIPs this morning. Well, let's just say, well, how do you Yanks put it? The island is now under new management. Uh, say what? <laughs> Who the devil dinosaur thinks he's so important he needs EDF mutant bodyguards? Uh, that would be me, boys. Uh, Cameron Winter? Except no imitations. Unless it's my new action figure. It gets my likeness down almost to a T. Ah, yes, Mr. Winter. It is an honor to have the CEO of Solstice Technologies come to our humble island. No need to spit polish my shoes by licking them, boy George. You've been vaccinated for COVID, right? Well, well I... Uh... It doesn't matter. Anyway, because, well... After hearing your stint as the producer of the Monster Island's fine radio show, you're bad for company image. I will have you know that I was just carrying out orders by my illustrious benefactors, the Monster Island Board of Directors. Uh, who now answered to me? What? Uh, what? Uh, uh, and we all agree that you assaulting Mr. from NASA over there to, to make yourself producer and, and then abusing the privilege by forcing Mr. Marchland and his guests to watch the most what the Canuck movie ever to come out of Italy while ordering food and getting drunk on the air, no less. Textbook bad optics, pal. Can't have any of that. I admit, I did overindulge with the alcohol, but in my defense, I needed to survive a film that makes the Blitz look like a village festival. Tisk. Excuses, excuses, Mr. The Third. I assure you, it will not happen again. My service to the board has been quite impeccable. If you want to understand how we do things around here, Mr. Winter, you need me. Well, actually, I don't. Like one of New York's richest businessmen was fond of saying, you're fired. Oh, you can't be serious. Mr. Marchand, please tell Mr. Winter here uh, what an impeccable job I have done over the past year. Uh, uh, you tried to kill me with Yeti, so no. Oh, Mr. Marchand, please quit fooling around. We were just joking with one another. Tell Mr. Joking. Winter that... Joking. I didn't realize tasers were funny now. Uh, Mr. Marchand, it was I simply grabbed the wrong thing out of my pocket. I wanted to just... Poke Jimmy with my finger. Now tell him, Mr. Winter here, that I am a valuable asset to this bloody island. Uh, I'm not going to miss him, Mr. Winter, just so you know. I think you would. You bloody bastard. Come over here and I'll rip that smirk off your face. Oh, I got another accent out of you. Achievement unlocked. Take your filthy paws off me, you gorilla. You look like a rhinoceros with a terrible haircut. Now take your... Let go of me now. Uh, take care, Lucky Charms. That's our own bloody country, you white-headed ninny muffin. Take your f***ing hands off me, you brute. Now let me go. Let me go right now. You smell like banana oil and... Come on. Well, that happened. Oh, don't worry, Marshland. I'll explain most everything when we go on the air and say... 
60 seconds. Start the countdown, Mr. from NASA. And it's March Hand. Well, that's not what it said on your latest book when I saw it in the shelf at the Sekazawa Library. Godzilla, dang it! Here's an introduction and some prepared questions for you to ask me. Sure? You look nervous, Marchland. I assure you, I'm an easy interview. It's not that. You have a reputation, and it precedes you. Ah, Nichols. He just can't stop talking about our good old days. That's not exactly how Dr. Tatopoulos... Hello, kaiju lovers! This is Nate Marchand, the host and curator of the Monster Island Film Vault, and with me today is quite possibly the biggest guest I've ever interviewed. He's the CEO of Solstice Technologies and the envy of Elon Musk, okay, Cameron Winter! (laughs) It's great to be here. I've heard a lot about this place and have been following it since... Well, I think a few episodes into your show, Marchland. Well, thanks. Now, you might be wondering why one of the biggest tech tycoons in the world is gracing your humble airwaves. It's like you read my mind, because that was the first question I was going to ask. Well, do you remember Apex Cybernetics? The company that recently constructed a new Mechagodzilla? amateurs, but I'd be lying if I said they didn't have some sweet resources that even I was a bit jealous of. Their hollow earth tunnel system was particularly juicy. So, with the company in shambles after the death of Walter Simmons, I swooped in and bought it. How kind of you. Thanks for noticing. Let me tell you, I've built some giant robots in my day. The blueprints I found stashed on their hard drives will be worth billions once I perfect them. I'm... Sure. But back to your well-crafted question. Much like with Apex, I noticed that the Monster Island has been struggling after some recent uh, downfalls. Well, learning that the most scientifically relevant and popular vacation spot in the world is secretly run by supervillains will do that. Which is why I'm now the majority shareholder in Monster Island. Oh, that's exciting. (laughs) <laughs> yes, I'm I'm happy to give you the exclusive on this kaiju size news story. It's only appropriate given the show is the island's primary media outlet. So my next question is, what led you to do this? To put it simply, it was too good of an investment opportunity. Monster Island is leading the way in kaijuology, and it would be a crime to see that field of study die because the bosses are a bunch of crooks, to put it politely. Plus, I have to say, you're way cooler than the competition, Jurassic Park, who definitely would have smeared you guys had you gone under the gloss over their questionable track record. Oh, very philanthropic of you. Well, like you said on the show, Marjolaine, Godzilla is good for business. (laughs) Cha-ching. So, what changes can we expect with you in charge? Oh, not much, actually. The board will continue with the daily management of the island, but under my ever-watchful eye, of course. Good to know. Along those lines, I've spoken with your lawyer friend, Raymond Martin, and finalized new contracts for you and your intrepid producer, Kenny from NASA. (laughs) Sure thing, Gamera Kid. You don't have to worry about getting shot into space again. All righty, then. In the meantime, Solstice will be working to improve the conditions for the kaiju and the tourists. Uh, What projects are those? Well, I'd tell you, but then I'd have to renege on your contract and launch you into orbit again. Gotcha. And why did he include that as one of his questions? What else you want to ask, Marchland? Oh, uh, uh, just one more, uh, boxers or briefs? Yes. But if you'll excuse me, I have a rebranding meeting with the board in about 30 minutes, so I must be off. It's been fun coming to the show. You're welcome, sir. Oh, call me Cameron. Just don't call me late for dinner. (laughs) Achievement unlocked. Well, there you have it, Kaiju lovers. Monster Island, now under new management. And just in time for your new Amerikaiju series, which is very patriotic of you. 
I'm looking forward to hearing it. Yep. Everything really is looking up, isn't it? Indeed. Until next time, kaiju lovers, keep seeking entertainment and enlightenment through tokusatsu. Good work, Marjolin. You can expect a New Year's bonus in your next paycheck. Um, cha-ching? <laughs> now you're getting it. Anyway, places to go, people to kill, money to make, all that jazz. I'm kidding about one of those, of course. Of course. Sayonara, Marjolin. Kenny. Join the club, Jimmy. <sighs> Well, it's like the who said, meet the new boss, same as the old boss.